Okie dokie, so today we're talking about enzyme substrate concentration. This is like the fifth time I've tried to film this. So I'm going to try to go fast. Um, so basically, just thinking about how when we change the number of enzymes and the amount of substrate in a solute in a reaction, then um, how is the reaction rate, or how long to complete the reaction will, will the time to with the time to complete the reaction or go through all the substrate increase or decrease. So a natural curve is going to look something like this. And so if this is the maximum amount of substrate we have, then this would be a pretty good time. So with a couple things to note here, it's going to be linear here. This is going to be the max speed at the beginning because all the enzymes are working and all of them are running at max potential. So if we have, and so I'm going to draw this, so if I have neutral enzyme and neutral S, then I'm going to have like a neutral time. It didn't increase or decrease. This, this is kind of like, this is kind of like the control, if you will. But if I increase my enzyme and I keep the uh, substrate constant, then my reaction time is going to decrease to get to full because it's going to take off and then it'll hit the max quicker. Same thing if I, so that'd be the red. If I decrease the amount of enzyme and keep the substrate the same, the reaction time is going to increase. And that's going to look something like this. So it slower reaction speed because I have less enzymes to work with and it still plateaus. So less enzyme, more enzyme. But what if we decrease the amount of substrate? So if the enzyme stays the same and the substrate goes down, then the reaction time is going to go down because if I draw this line with the pink marker or the purple marker if I'm only going to this height and I have a normal amount of enzyme then it's going to rise and then taper off. It's going to be faster because I have less substrate to react with. Um, I like to think of it in terms of fast food workers and burgers so I have a, a number of burgers to make and I have more workers I'm going to be able to complete the burgers faster but at the end if one worker can make on one burger at, if one worker can work on one burger at a time when you're below the when your number of burgers is lower to make is lower than the amount of workers some of the workers won't be working and so the reaction rate is going to decrease so just some things to think about as far as reaction rates and when you change the concentration of enzyme or substrate in a reaction and i hope that was helpful